I'm from Thailand mm -hmm. and um, so I come here to Hayes kind of long time ago to Fort Hayes mm -hmm. actually. Um, so what makes you decide to start a store in Western Kansas which is here? So um, start from the beginning I have I have a family friend mm -hmm. uh, which I call auntie oh. and she's from Thailand and she lives in Stockton, Kansas which is about 45 minutes from here oh. so she recommend me uh -huh. to come to college here oh. at Fort Hayes so um, so I came here for college mm -hmm. and uh, later I got married and I moved to Seattle area for uh, a little bit yeah. and then I moved back to Stockton, uh, Kansas which I have a little cafe over there mm -hmm. at once some some point and um, but I kind of want to move back to Hayes mm -hmm. so um, so then I decide to move back to Hayes and also uh, the location that I'm having here right now I have the building, I bought the building. Oh. So like before I moved here, mm -hmm. uh, it was a rental property before. Uh -huh. And then when I decide to move here, I have the space. So I think that, you know, I want to do something yes. different around here. Uh -huh. So first I opened a store that sell like a merchandise, which uh -huh. like a bag and clothing. Mm -hmm. um, and I kind of also like to do something that, you know, like bring people back. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to do like a, you know, big, like a whole, whole side cafe. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do something different to go along with the merchandise that I have. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided to do bubble tea oh. because I think it's nobody else doing it uh -huh. and it's something new which I want to do something new that um, have people try. Yeah. You know, the clothing business is, is not it's not as much because it's unusual around here, which I know a lot of people around here is not what they wear. Mm -hmm. So I want to add something that maybe bring people to the store, which yeah. is, you know, like kind of maybe food and drink. Uh -huh. People would kind of more, more willing to try. Yeah. So uh, that's why I decide to have it, to have it here. Uh, like and it's or... close. It's a little bit closer to college too. So yeah. Yeah. I would say right now it is not like it's a big hit or very popular because you know people still don't know really don't know what it is. Yes. They but, don't have the concept. Right, but it's better than when I started. Yes. It's like before when I started, it just, it just like kind of new thing. Yeah. Skeptical, mm -hmm. but but it's getting a little better. That's, that's cool. I would say. Yeah. But it's because I'm, I think I'm making a good product too. Yes. So I think that's what brought people back. Ah. Yeah. I got like I got repeat customer. So. Yay. <laughs> Um, can you tell me uh, why you choose uh, Indigo as the store's name? So actually, uh, the full name is Indigo by Jasmine. Mm -hmm. The reason that I choose the Indigo because uh, first I like the Indigo color, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like um, it's the natural dye that you know they go through out all over the world, mm -hmm. which is kind of like what I'm doing. That I bring the stuff that from kind of more ethnic and more uh, from somewhere else overseas that not from here and that's why I kind of choose the indigo but then I have like by jasmine because mm -hmm. it's just something that remind me as the business that I used to have oh. called jasmine so I'm just like indigo by jasmine but people oh. always confuse me that oh you know are you jasmine so I'm just like yes I'm jasmine Oh. So I'm just like, okay, just yeah. like using as a name too. As a name, yeah. yeah. But it's used to be my old business name. I got it. Yeah. And I also noticed there, there is a lot of decoration mm -hmm. of elephants. 
Can you tell us uh, what what that means for you, and is there mm -hmm. have specific meaning from your mm -hmm. culture? So like some of them, like some elephant. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Thailand, we we used to believe that elephant give you the good luck, mm -hmm. and elephant is a big, uh, big animal. Yeah. So they kind of have the feeling as you know, like they they have the long life, mm -hmm. and they also have the feeling, yeah, kind of more like a human, you know, oh. that. and um, and also uh, I I I like elephant too, like personal. Like I like I like elephant. That's why I have a lot of elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, brings luck to me. Yeah, bring luck to me. Yes. Yeah. Does bubble tea have any meaning for you? And like, um, tell us a little bit about bubble tea. I think because it's kind of unique. Yeah. Unique, unique drink. Uh -huh. But it's getting kind of popular mm -hmm. around maybe around the world. Yeah. And and I think I, I like I like to make something that um how do I say it? I know I make good product. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to make Thai tea. So first we're gonna do like I have the ready-made syrup that I make. And then this is the Thai tea that I already make it. So I'm just gonna add the Thai tea in my the syrup that I already have mixed. And then in this case, we're using tapioca. So I'm just gonna add the tapioca that I already pre-made. And, and then add in the eye. add the mixture of the Thai tea and then some milk maybe a little bit Thai tea and then put the milk on and with the straw add it and here Thai tea because uh, we know bubble tea, like you mix the milk with tea together, which yeah. is tea is really healthy for our people's. Yeah, and I also have the way how how I make it. You know, like mm -hmm. just kind of unique. unique. You have the you way have your own way. Right, I have my uh, own touch the way I make it. Yeah. but it's good product with the re very reasonable price, uh -huh. which I think you know, like my my is a little bit lower than bigger city like yeah. my, my so I think that's another thing that bring people back and I know I you know I make yeah I make good I think so <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I really enjoy the bubble tea here and I just picked up a very nice dress that I'm gonna I'm gonna be wearing a lot. Um, I really like bubble tea because of all of the variety you get here and it's just a really nice shop. Okay, so this is my first time actually being here and I really like it. They have a wide variety of flavors and different things to buy here and it's just different from your regular tea and it makes it more interesting so I really like it. So uh, I used to come here when I was really young, my aunt, and uh, I just always thought it was really interesting. And a few years, I started coming here again just to experience it again because I really like the tea and I enjoy her. I enjoy her and uh, I enjoy the presence of the place. I really like it here. <laughs>